everyone! This is the dress that we'll be making today. I kind of designed this dress um, to be one that a newborn girl would wear when she's taking her um, first pictures or having a photo session because the skirt is so full that it just... Um, you could do all sorts of cute things with the little baby like leaning over and the little dress poofed out with a, with a slip underneath or something like that. Um, the supplies you'll need, um, three different colors of yarn. If you want the exact colors I use, this is soft pink, white, and Victorian rose. Um, you'll need a little bit of thread. You'll need one eighth inch ribbon. You'll need a little um, button or a pearl. And you'll need um, an H hook and an E hook. And uh, come along as we make this dress. Alright, so you'll start your first um, stripe of color by um, chaining 60 and this is for 0 to 3 month size. Then you will hook it with a slip stitch and just continue around and as you continue around you will only go in the back of the braid of the, of the single crochet so that you will make these these lines, these stripes. So instead of going through both of them, you will just go through the back and then you will go two complete rounds all the way around and then you will change your color. And this is the way you're going to make your stripes so you will just repeat this process of changing colors as many times as you want. So leave two or three inches Go through the back, pull up a loop of your second color, and then continue taking your single crochets. And as you do so, you will be catching the ends. So you will go under the ends pull up a loop and then you pull the other loop over the ends and then that's how you catch your ends in without making any knots and then you will just continue and make two rounds of this color and then after two rounds you will change colors again and you'll just make as many stripes as you like and you're looking to make about a two inch a two inch band and then we will come back. Alright, so instead of the two inches like I thought I was going to do, I ended up doing about four inches and I like the look of the wider um, bodice waistband than the, than the skinnier one. So I did about three rows of each color and you come to the top of your last color and switch colors like I showed you at the beginning of the video and take one single crochet and we're going, we're going to be going through both of the, the tops of, of the single crochets rather than just the back like we have been doing to make the line effect. So for the skirt, go through both of the braids on the top of the single crochet. So after you took this one single crochet just to hold your new color in, um, do one chain and this is because we're building up to um, a double crochet. So yarn over in the very next stitch, do a double crochet. And be sure that you're catching your ends. Yarn over and do, take another double crochet into the very same spot. And what we're going to be doing is taking three double crochets into every single crochet. All the way around. Oh, sorry, I got it too close to the camera right there. Okay, so three double crochets into every single crochet and then we'll come back. Okay, so I finished my first round of the skirt and I like to work the skirt um, in rounds rather than ending each row and starting each row. So um, continue on where you made your um, chain one. You'll just take another double crochet and on this second row um, I want you to take two double crochets 
into every double crochet and that's what's going to give our skirt a really full look so just go around two double crochets into every double crochet and then we'll come back alright so after you've done five rounds of, of your double crochet um, I'm going to start making stripes of different colors and this is the pattern that you will repeat um, you will do sets of this big stripe and these littler stripes until you have it as long as you want okay so come to the spot um, where you've done five complete rounds and then I'm um, next to your last double crochet take a single crochet and what you're doing is you're just making it come down so that the, the row ends and next to your single crochet take a slip stitch and there you go so that the row ends and then you're going to start um, a new color and in this case I'm doing white in the very next stitch pull up your second color and take a single crochet grab your ends and then again weave the ends into your stitches and take one single crochet oops sorry I started doing a double there you keep doing your singles and what you're going to do is you're going to make a complete round of single crochet and when you come back to here just continue on doing one more round of single crochet of your second color so do two rounds of your second color and then we'll come back okay so I finished um, two rounds of the white and um, in your very next single crochet bring up a loop of of your third color and take another single crochet and you will be making one row grab your ends you'll be making one row of this third color so take a single crochet and then just continue on single crochet all the way around until you've made one complete round of your third color okay so after your one row of your third color switch colors again draw up a loop and continue on with your second color doing single crochet for two rows for two rounds and after you do the two rounds of your second color we'll come back okay so after you've done your two rows of your second color um, cut off your yarn and come in with your first color and do a single crochet and since we're going from single crochet to double crochet you need to build up by doing one chain to make it the height of a double crochet so yarn over and make sure you're catching your ends and do your first double crochet and you will do one double crochet in rounds for five rounds and so you will just keep repeating this pattern of double crochets and single crochet stripes as many times as you want just remember that when you are changing colors on your single crochet you don't need to change your stitches at all you can just continue on with single crochet when you change your colors but when you're stopping here going from double crochet to single crochet you go down to you have a double crochet a single crochet and a slip stitch and that's how we ended this row and then when you are going back to double crochet you do a single crochet, a chain one, and then you can go on to your double crochets. And so just repeat this pattern of switching back and forth between double crochets, single crochet stripes, and double crochets. And you can do these any thickness you want. You can even come in here with your third color and do two stripes in between your white and you can just make them as thick as you like. 
So um, make all your stripes, make them, make the end to where you have the thickness, I mean the length that you would like, and then we'll come back. Okay, so I finished my last stripe on the skirt. Um, I just finished, and you can end it, like I said, at any length you want. And so I went back to my first color, and I did one row of my first color, just changing the colors as I showed you before. And after I did one round of that, I changed my hook to an E hook so that this edging on the end of the skirt would be um, a more delicate, smaller look. So after you've finished your last round, you will start by taking three chains. And then you will go into the first chain made and take a slip stitch. And then go into the very next single crochet and take a single crochet. So that's one single crochet, two, three, and on their fourth one you'll go ahead and repeat this little pico stitch again where you will chain three, one, two, three, go into the first chain and then pull pull through. I always make my stitches too tight. And then uh, do four single crochet again. And then you will just repeat that process of making the picots with um, four single crochets in between and come back to this point. Okay, so when you've come to this point um, if you don't have quite enough room, um, it's not going to matter because this is at the back of the dress and so if you're one or two stitches off it doesn't matter. Um, but you can move this last pico over this way. You can do um, three single crochets and then move this over this way if you need some more room here. Or you can do uh, five single crochets and then move it this way so that you can even these last um, ones out, you can space them more evenly. So once you come to here, just pull out your last stitch and then um, what I like to do so that no ends are showing, I take, I take a um, yarn needle and I go in through the back weaving it in and out so that there will be no ends coming out to tickle your little baby or whoever's going to wear the dress. And then just pull it in so that it, it just makes a straight edge right there. And then you can just cut it off. And then there's the edging of your little dress. Okay, so for the straps you're going to want to chain 16. In the second chain from the hook, take a single crochet, one single crochet all the way down, and when you get to the end I'll show you how to make a square edge. On any square edge you're trying to do, chain one, turn your work, skip this very first stitch right here and go into the next single crochet. And that will make a square edge for you every time. It won't decrease or go sideways. You'll just have to remember to treat this one that you skipped as a stitch so when you're coming down here, be sure that you take your last single crochet not in this one, but in this one right here. So this has, your strap is going to need um, four complete rows of single crochet. So you have your chain row, which makes it five rows. Five rows, 15 long for your straps. And I would suggest um, for beginners that you not change colors on the straps. On my finished dress, I did change the colors, and if you would like to do that, um, you just change it the same way that I demonstrated on this. 
but it's a little harder to do it on the edges. So for, for beginners, I would suggest doing their straps all in one color. Or you can get um, wide satin ribbon from Michael's or Joann's or another craft store and make your straps out of the ribbon.